After Barack Obama came out in support of gay marriage, uh, he was basically saying that he sat down, he had a talk with his daughters, who have friends that have gay parents, right? And that kind of influenced the evolution of his decision. Yeah, 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 right. Right. Well, Bristol Palin had an issue with this, mm -hmm. and she had written on her Facebook page, which is public, uh, that Barack Obama is a father, and while it's a good idea to talk to your kids, maybe it's not such a good idea to take advice from your kids and, uh, you know, make public statements based on what your, your kids have said. And basically that as a father, he should be a father figure because it's very important for uh, you know fathers to play an active role in their children's lives. I don't know, all this nonsense about how important fathers are. Mm -hmm. Anyway, of course we criticized her because her son doesn't have a father. Or has a father, oh, but isn't... Oh, that stings. Oh. But, but look, if you're going to make public statements about how... Barack Obama needs to be a better father, right? Or mm -hmm. a more active father, whatever she was trying to say there. How are you gonna say that when the father of your child is no longer in your child's life because you can't get along with him and because you got pregnant at 16? Oh, ouch! Right? So anyway, I'm hurt, dog! I think, my hurt. I think my criticism is actually very tame, but there are other people on the internet who also took issue with what she said, mm -hmm. and uh, they basically told her to die. Right? Oh, come on. I know. I'm against that. I'm against that. But that's go, go for but that's, <laughs> We're against that. But that's the internet, okay? I believe they are called trolls. <laughs> Where they dedicate their time to saying these hateful things to you. Now, what's amazing to me is that Bristol Palin keeps putting herself in a situation where she's a public figure, which she could easily just, I don't know, fade into obscurity and nobody will even know who she is anymore. Well, right? Of but course she doesn't, doesn't want to do that. There's money to be made. So uh, she was whining and crying about it. She says, around Hollywood, there's lots of concern and great initiatives to try to encourage more kindness in this world. Then why do I get so many messages telling me I should die? <laughs> D-I-E, die. Okay, she continues to write. They treat me as if I'm not human, as if they are somehow proving how great they are by always anonymously, the cowards, tearing me apart with their words. Finally, she writes, you think it's completely obvious that you're right, but the younger generation is more pro-life than their parents, and voters just keep defending traditional marriage. Why? Why would we, if you've been telling us what to think for all these years? First of all, I don't believe that the younger generation is more pro-life. Right. Uh, uh, second of all, so, listen, I need you to be calm. Is it bad that somebody told you that you should die? Of course, right? But. It's the internet, for Christ's sake. We get horrible messages about us every single day. If we did cried about it like this, can you imagine? Well, we spend the would, whole show crying. Like, like if not we only like, would I cry, I think that I would disappear into obscurity and like never be public again. Like, I, I don't read those comments for a reason. I just ignore them, which is something she should do, and she should know by now to do that. Yeah. By the way, like the last time I read comments about me, somebody said something about, "Oh my God, Anna's so awesome," because I said something really aggressive on the show. I don't remember right. what it was. Oh, Anna's so awesome, I would totally bang her, even though I'm not into heavy women. Oh! Oh, I'm hurt, dog! I'm hurt! I'm hurt! Why would they say oh, I'm that? glad you guys are all amused by that. <laughs> all right, okay, great. All right, now look, uh, I only get that every single day, right? So, now, no, but, I, but look, it's, I'm keeping it real here. Look, you gotta understand something. So, okay, people disagree with what you said, and you're gonna have a debate about that. But you can't, like, one thing that is not a legitimate point of, like, a way of defending yourself is to say, well, I must be right because some crazy people on the internet said something about me, right? Because here are the things that are said about me. You fat, greasy bastard, mm -hmm. okay? You Muslim jihadist, this, that, and the other thing, and I hope this happens to you, and I hope that part gets chopped off, and I hope you blow yourself up, da, 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 da. every day, every day. That doesn't mean I'm right. It just means that there are idiots on the internet who are like, oh my God, nobody knows who I am. <laughs> I'm gonna call a Muslim. <laughs> 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 and you get this, I'm gonna go fat. <laughs> okay, like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna wish ill things on him. <laughs> okay, I got it, man, right. I got it. Bristol, just call the internet, look into it.